here are seven herbs that you can use for brain fog. These herbs are going to help you support mental clarity and cognitive function. The first herb we have is ashwagandha. Ashwagandha may reduce stress and anxiety, both of which are associated with brain fog. This adaptogen herb has been used in Ayurveda medicine for thousands of years to reduce stress and boost cognition, memory, and energy levels. Then we have Ginkgo biloba. I actually got this when I was in Mexico a month ago. Ginkgo is also known to improve blood flow to various parts of the body, including the brain, which improves brain function. There's a lot of research done on this powerful, potent herb. It is definitely worth having. Go to cola. Depression, anxiety, stress, and insomnia affect attention, focus, and memory, causing fatigue and inability to concentrate. So by improving these problems, go to cola helps memory, focus, and brain function. Spearmint. This is so easy to grow. The invigorating aroma of spearmint or peppermint and the menthol can help wake up your senses and boost your alertness. This is my favorite herbal tea to consume whenever I want that extra energy boost, but I don't want to consume caffeine. Brahmi. Brahmi, also known as bacopa, significantly increases one of the body's main antioxidants in the brain as well as vitamin A, E, and C levels. These antioxidants then protect the brain from oxidative stress associated with many mental health conditions that cause cognitive decline and brain fog. Rosemary is another great one. Rosemary has a positive effect on mood, learning, memory, pain, anxiety, and sleep all which contribute to brain fog. And then we have holy basil, also known as Tulsi. Holy basil provides positive effects on memory and cognition and improves mental clarity and nervous system function. This is one of my favorite herbs to make blends with. I usually like to blend it up with other herbs that help assist the nervous system. All of these herbs you can consume in tea form, and most of them you can also consume in tincture form or capsule, whichever way that you prefer. If you want to learn more about herbs with me, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I definitely share longer videos on there.